It's time now for a phone scam. Spike is going to scam Andrew. Andrew was golfing last weekend and accidentally hit a car with his golf ball. Spike is going to call from the insurance company to collect some money from him. It's Mojo in the Morning, your home of the phone scams. We will, we will scam you. It's Mojo in the Morning phone scams. Hello? Looking for Andrew, please. Uh, this is Andrew. Andrew, it's Philip from Insurance, calling from the claims department about claim number 4542001. What is that? It's the golf ball damaged a car. <laughs> yeah, you got to be kidding me. No, I'm calling on behalf of Rob, who has supplied this to us. And I'd like to get your side of the story if you have a second. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, I hit a really bad shot off the golf course and it bounced in the street and into a driveway. And then it hit a car? Well, I didn't actually see it hit a car, but, um, you know, I went to go find my ball and went out there and there was this guy in his driveway screaming at me and he showed me a, showed me his car. Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of major damage to the back end? No, no. I mean, there were, like, I couldn't even see it. He just pointed out, like, a, a tiny little mark, you know? There was major damage to the back of that car. Major damage? There, I mean, there was a little dent. That's it. Okay. The gentleman said that you quickly ran away before you could exchange information. I, ra I ran away? No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. I mean, he didn't request any information. He just, you know, he was, he was kind of rude and he was real pissed off, you know, and then he just... Well, imagine you you're know? just standing out front of your house and a little white golf ball comes out of nowhere and smashes your car. Well, I would think someone should be used to that when they live on a golf course, but... You know, I mean, I didn't run away at all. I mean, we had a conversation, basically, that involved him him yelling at me, and then he didn't request any information, so I left. You know, I was completely polite, and he had every opportunity to ask me for my information, and he didn't. I'm afraid, as your insurance provider, that you're not taking this very seriously. I just don't understand what to take seriously. I mean, it was there. Was, I don't understand that there was any damage. There was damage, and... It's actually a pretty high deductible you have here. I'm not sure if you want to pay for it out of pocket or apply it against the homeowner's policy. What? Can I ask you this? Were you drinking that morning? He thought he saw alcohol. He saw al No, alcohol is not allowed on the course. Of course I wasn't drinking. His story is a lot different from your story, and that could kind of get hairy in court. I'm just trying to avoid a lawsuit. A lawsuit? I mean, I... It was such a minor incident. I just don't understand why. And I can't believe you said I was drinking. I, I w absolutely wasn't drinking. Well, it was like 10 o'clock in the morning. I just don't know if this guy's going to want to take it any further, but he's popping a blood vessel over this. He actually said you had the audacity to bend over and pick up your ball and take it with you after you smashed his car. Well, I don't know. It didn't even smash his car. It just, like, bounced off the street. And, I mean, it was, it was like the tiniest little mark. And... I mean, did he want to keep the golf ball as part of it? Like, what? I don't understand. No, I guess he's all bent out of shape because he thinks you fled the scene and he has witnesses, and he's saying you were trying to pretend it never happened. Well, I have witnesses, too, and I don't understand why, why anyone's talking about lawsuit. Isn't this why people have insurance, you know? I mean, especially when you live on the golf course. Well, let's add up the damage here and see what we're working with. Major damage to the back end, the back bumper. It didn't even hit the bumper. The alignment was off. The, the alignment? Are you kidding me? It's not just a little ding they can patch up. I mean, this looks like $2,700 worth of damage. <laughs> $2,700? Mm -hmm. you, you've got to be kidding me. I mean, I mean, what did he say? The airbags went off also? Okay, see, this is the carefree attitude that I was talking about. You know, you understand? You might think you're almost taunting him into taking action. This is bull****. I mean, the guy's committing insurance fraud. You know, I mean... It was it was a chip out the back window and a dent on the on the back of the car and that's it, you know? So now you're also admitting to a chip out of the back window. You said before it was just a dent. There was just there was you know, a tiny crack. I mean not even a crack, sorry. Crack. I mean, there was a there was a, a tiny um, chip in the back window and, and you know, this little tiny dent it, I mean it was smaller than a quarter. Well here's the thing. He agrees to drop the lawsuit if you agree to take remedial golf lessons. Are you kidding me? No, sir, I'm not kidding. I could actually draw up the paperwork that would agree on a certain number of golf lessons for you to take. Oh, wait. Is this Spike? 
Yeah, and you're a bad golfer. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been phone scammed on the Mojo in the Morning Show. Uh, your wife actually sent it to us. She asked us to phone scam you. And you had a pretty good story, too. Yeah, and I stuck to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to hell for that. Hello, humans. This is the home of the world-famous phone scams. Mojo in.